Work is quickly wrapping up on Phase 1 of the new Richard Ivey School of Business as it nears substantial completion for occupancy in August. The opening of Phase 1 marks an important milestone in Ivey's strategic plan to retain its position as Canada's leadership school, attracting top students worldwide. Ivey's Chief Financial Officer, John Irwin, who oversees the day-to-day -day construction, had this recent update on what's been happening. Well, Ellis Dawn is really working feverishly to finish off the first floor of phase one because we plan to move the MSc program in August 1st to start classes. So right now they're concentrating a lot on the classrooms, the breakout rooms, and, and the student lounges. There's about six or seven classrooms that we're going to start making operational. I think Ellis Dawn is doing a really good job of, of preparing the classrooms for us. So as the MSc moves in, uh, they start using the classrooms. We feel that, you know, as days go on, more classrooms will be ready. We're, we're hoping to run uh, HBA electives in the new building in, in September or October. The second and third floors of Phase 1 will be the new home for Ivy program and corporate staff. The Dean's Office, Ivy Advancement, Finance, Marketing, Public Affairs and Communications and Information Technology will be the first major departments to move in during August. Second and third floor is an open concept for the professional staff and the architect really did a unique thing that uh, I, I think the staff will really like. There, there's floor to ceiling windows, which with, there's lots of natural light that comes in, but he's also split the floor on the, on the third floor and put in skylights so that, so that the natural light flows uh, you know, through through the skylights, down through the third floor, onto the second floor. So, so staff is going to get natural light not only coming in from the windows, but also from above. What they've been doing is uh, finishing it off, carpeting it, getting the offices, meeting rooms ready. So the plan is to finish that off, move staff in, get ready for some operations uh, to happen in the building. Because as you know, the main building, we're being squeezed for space. The new building will help free up offices for faculty in the main campus Ivy building, as well as consolidate many staff who have been spread out across temporary locations over the last two years. Well, as you can see behind me, uh, they're digging the hole for the second phase, so we're quite excited about that. And, and I anticipate as uh, you know, time goes on in this year, you're going to see, obviously, it coming out of the ground, the structural steel will be put up. Construction will carry on with Phase 2 during 2012, building the faculty wings, additional classrooms, an auditorium, library and dining pavilion. Right now, uh, the Grand Hall is in Phase 1 and we hope to use the Grand Hall as much as possible. But, but again, we, this is where Phase 2 and Phase 1 are joined together, so there will be some construction going on in that area. Uh, the student eating pavilion won't be done until the end of phase two as will the faculty offices and more additional classrooms on the first floor. The first major event that we'll have in the new building is, is homecoming on October 1st and 2nd. Uh, we're hoping lots of alumni come back to the school, you know, experience the new building. There'll still be, uh, phase two will still be under construction, but I think the alums will, will see a fantastic phase one and we'll be able to certainly see the structure of phase two going up.